What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Here we are, Twitch Live at E3 2017. And you just saw the trailer for the new expansion to Dishonored 2. Uh, I, I, Death of the Outsider. Thank you, Death of the Outsider. I was like, the title was right there, talking to me, and I didn't read it. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about it. because I, That's the only reason I'm here. I told you, uh, Swifter's here. Good to see what you. Yep. Pete's back. Hey. And uh, I was just telling you just before we uh, came back on the camera there that I just finished this game like three weeks ago. The finish, excuse me, finished Dishonored 2 three weeks ago. And I'm just champing at the bit to get my hands on the new, new one. And it's a, it's a story of it's not in a tunnel this time. The expansion. Tell me a little bit about expansion. Well, it's uh, so it's standalone. So first of all, you, you don't you don't need Dishonored 2 to play this. It's, it's stand on its own, and mm -hmm. basically, it's the idea uh, that Billy Lurk, uh, who uh, spoiler alert is you know is Megan Foster throughout most of Dishonored 2. She's right. kind of helping you get to where you need to get. Yep. Um, and uh, Dowd, who you probably remember from the first Dishonored, he's the guy who actually kills. The Empress, yep. Uh, yep. and you play him as the DLC after the first Dishonored. The two of them are going to team up and work together to kill the Outsider. And the Outsider is this supernatural, godlike oh, yeah. character in the Dishonored universe that is basically responsible for all of Corvo's powers. He sort of has been messing with everybody, and they decide they've had enough of this guy and him screwing everything up and throwing in the world the chaos, and they are going to team up and kill the outsider. Now it's not literally just one mission, kill the outsider, game over, but it's a whole uh, avenue to get to ultimately that ultimate mission. Right. It's like it's like the quest for the Holy Grail isn't just picking up a cup. Right. Sure. You know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you gotta do some stuff along the way. Yep. Um so now correct me if I'm wrong, but is because at the end of Dishonor two they kind of hint at hint at something like that. Like a, a new mission or something that, that Billy has to do on her own. And so they kind of hint at that. Is this, would you say this is like a story of redemption? Uh, in some ways, yeah. I mean, it, de depending on how you play Dishonored 2. Good point. I didn't even think right? about that. Like, the different endings. Right. Because I, I, played, I played totally pacifist, nonviolent. Uh, right. That's and the way so I always play. I play, I play ghost, nonviolent every time I play first time. And so you and I probably had the same interaction with Billy at the end on the yep. boat where she reveals who she really is yep. and, and what she's responsible for. And you decide, like, okay, well, I forgive you and you're not that person or you suck. Yeah. You should, right? But, um, yeah, I mean, it is, it, is a it is in a lot of ways a story of her trying to right wrongs or atone for her past uh, in, in some ways and uh, in a lot of respects Dowd um, as well you could say that for I mean he killed the Empress he really set yeah he's got a lot to pay for uh, yeah for, sure. for <laughs> a, a, a chain of events that has really spiraled throughout Dishonored and Dishonored 2 so for both of them this is in, in some ways uh, using their their powers and abilities finally to maybe do some good uh, and, and set things right once and for all and uh, if if Dishonored is true to form like their expansions are huge, and they are they are massive, and they're fun, and they're there's many different things you can do along the way. Is that this is a big, meaty, full? You know, there's a lot of gameplay in this. It's not a small little DLC. There's there's a ton of stuff going on, a lot of content to play. But the at its very core, it boils down to a simple idea, which is be a badass supernatural assassin doing really cool stuff. Sure. How that plays out, the weapons that you have, the new powers, and, and all of that stuff. Playing as this new character, we're going to be talking about kind of as we go along. But you know, a lot of new, uh, a lot of new tools to play with, uh, enemies you're going to face, and, and a whole big story to, to play through. That's something I wanted to ask you about. As far as I mean, you're on a quest to kill the outsider. What do you, 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 do you not use the powers, like the shadow walk and stuff like that? Like, because he he's responsible for like like gra granting you the powers. Am I right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, that doesn't mean, uh, to your point, like, well, the quest for the Grail isn't just, I'll just walk in that room and pick up that cup. There's a lot of stuff that's going hap to happen before they even get to the point where they can find this, sure. this guy and, and, and take him out once and for all. And so those powers are definitely going to, you see him some in the, in the trailer there. You know, Billy's got, the, you know, Billy's sort of, she's here and all of a sudden she teleports over here. There's, oh, there's okay. any number of things she's going to do to help her along the way to the get to the point. And then the question is, to your point, like, well, if you have supernatural powers going up against the ultimate supernatural power, how's that going to play out? Right. Well, you're going to have to play Death of the Outsider to find yeah. out. Yeah. And Kenny taketh what he has given. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Uh, I see that, that, uh, that Billy has a, uh, a badass robot arm. 
Tell me, can you like tell well, me about I, a little bit about I mean, the new shit we're gonna see? Her her, um, her backstory is one of you know a, a difficult past. She hasn't had an easy life, you know, missing an eye, missing hand, yep. half of her arm. Um, she the life of assassin is not an easy one, and she has sort of been through the ringer. And and again, I think kind of to the conversation we we're just having about dishonor too, and how that winds up. Like she sort of gets. She comes out the other side of that, uh, a changed person, and yeah, sort of yeah, realizing, yeah. like, for all of the stuff that I've, I, I've been through and that have happened to me, like, this is my uh, chance at, at uh, redemption in, in a lot of ways um, to, to, uh, to kind of get back her, herself in a way. Now, when you play Dishonored, there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, similar things that you get used to. Like, you get used to having, like, a really cool retractable sword that you can flip out and stuff like that. Like... What are we going to see gadgets and weapons wise that are new in this in this expansion? We got um, a, a, at its core, Dishonored is still a, a melee game. Sure, right? You're an assassin, close up. Right, She's got a cool ass sword. Um, it's still a game about having some ranged abilities, whether it's to take down um, enemies in a deadly fashion or take them in a in a non lethal fashion. You were talking about being non lethal. One of the things we really tried to heart to do in Dishonored 2 was to give players the tools to do both, right? right like, right. oh, all your range stuff just kills people. Like, well, I don't want that guy to die. I need him to, like, go to sleep. Yeah, right. 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 Um, uh, but don't put him to sleep underneath a blood fly nest because it turns out, as some of us found out the hard way, <laughs> they still get eviscerated. And you finish the mission, you're like, oh, sweet, I didn't kill anybody. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I sleep darted a dude who was sitting on the edge, like on a railing. <laughs> Ghost and, went, over. and I was like, got that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look at the stats, you're like, one kill. You're like, damn, I can't have that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, it is still a game that, that supports that. And, and much like we did with, um, with Emily and, and Corvo and Dishonor 2, we want Billy to have both some familial um, weapons and powers and abilities, but mm -hmm. also to offer some new ways to play through both Lethal and, and non-lethal, and so over you know over the coming weeks and months, we're going to start talking a little bit more about exactly what those are and a lot of the different ways. But you know, new minds and new new stuff that she can do, new powers that she has that are a little bit different than than Corvo's or Emily's. So it feels like a fresh uh, a fresh experience. You bet. Now in in uh, Dishonored 2, at least uh, outsider shrines take uh, like have a have a place. Like every once in a while. You'll be going through a level, and you'll come across an Outsider Shrine that has runes on them. But once you touch them, you are transported to the Outsider's Realm, or at least, like, what looks like the Outsider's Realm. Do you, I mean, I know you can't, probably can't <laughs> say much, but... Do you want to go ahead and answer this after you finish asking it, or do you Damn want to it. Oh, I, I just want to know, like, I, want, I love the interactions with the Outsider. I yeah. just, tell me there's more. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I asked. This I, you is know, the second day of E3. Like, I can't. Dude, I know. I'm going to walk back to the booth, and Harvey and Roth are going to, like, kick me for giving away <laughs> all the secrets, man. I, I don't want to be the t total. You can't blame spoiler. Secret Shrine. Do you want me to yeah, just yeah, tell no, you how it yeah, ends? That was, hey, that was for you guys out there. That was for you at home. I tried. I tried, gave you my, my try. best shot. We, we give you an A for effort. <laughs> So uh, there, uh, there are options in this expansion because that's one of the, that's one of the tropes of Dishonored is that you can play it lethal, non-lethal, uh, silent, all of, all noisy, of that, chaos. All of that same stuff that folks are used to um, is an option again. So you can you can play through completely non-lethal. You can play through completely chaotic. You okay. can sort of do your own versions of of silent or uh, detected a lot, right? Um, or trying chaos, to be silent. Chaos, yeah. The way that I play <laughs> play is trying to be stealthy, then get detected, try not to kill anybody, and then have to kill everybody <laughs> because I went from being silent to being found by everybody, yeah. and now instead of living, all of you are going to die, and yeah. oops. Then you look, uh, <laughs> you look sure. down on the dead bodies like, look what you made me do. I didn't, sure quite, noticed, cap, I didn't quite cap burglar that level the way I thought I, thought I was going to. <laughs> Apologize to all your families. My bad on that. Uh, I'll replay <laughs> it again and do it non-lethal. Uh, but, yeah, all of that, all of that uh, sort of player choice on – how you're going to move through and the way in which you want to play is a hallmark of Dishonored and, and will be part of Death of the Outsider for sure. Very cool, man. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've been a fan since the first Dishonored, and I, I played through them all stealth, you know, Ghost, and I'm, I'm glad to see that that's going to be still a part of it. Uh, as far as power-ups go, it's going to be pretty pretty similar, like grabbing the, the bone charms and the runes. Yeah, and like same kind of mechanic of sort of what do you want to get better at and where cool. you're going to put your... Your your uh, your powers and abilities. And I can't wait to see the new abilities, man. Because some of the new abilities in the Dishonored 2, just like I was when I 
started the game, I started High Chaos with Corvo, and I was the rat king. I just, like, everybody got all eaten. All rats all the time. Yeah, everybody got eaten. So I'm excited to see what, what Billy, like, what's in her arsenal. Yep. All right, man. Well, I can't wait. Uh, is there, Won't like, be long. It's out in September. September, September yeah. what? Right in the corner. Uh, remember? It's 25th. I think it's, it's the 25th. Look for it. September Smash. <laughs> <laughs> on the Xbox One. <laughs> <Fist for the PC>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thanks, man. I appreciate thanks it. Thank much. you for telling me about it. Dishonored 2, the, the uh, what